Hey guys, let's talk about this hair. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you watched my previous video, you know this is finger comb my hair. I found their Instagram page, love the pictures, and instantly wanted to order a unit from them. The reason I wanted to order a wig unit is because I've been natural for so long. I've been natural since July 2010 and I finally hit that brick wall that all naturals hit where they get tired and get frustrating with doing their natural hair. So many people take the assumption that because your natural is supposed to be easier and low maintenance, that is not the case. The same maintenance you have to put into your relaxed hair, you have to put that into your natural hair. So I got to this place where I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know what else to do to it. So a wig um, really was the best option. Uh, there are holidays and events coming up. Thanksgiving is next week. Then the following week is my wife's company's Christmas party. Then that same week, my job is having a Chris Christmas luncheon for its employees. Then um, it's Chris the Christmas holiday and then New Year's and so on and so on and so on. So a week, that was the better option to me. So I went on their site, went under protective styling units. Placed an order for this hair that I thought was amazingly beautiful. Ordered it. Got the email confirmation that clearly says wig unit. When I got the package, the packaging was top notch. Out of 100, I totally would give this company 100% on their packaging, their marketing. It was... A plus so many times you order from a hair company and your hair come in like just a little envelope that you you that they mail it out in they really packaged it well so that's an A plus once I opened it I noticed it was not a wig it was weft hair I contacted the company and they was unaccommodating <laughs> I did not ask for anything for free. I did not ask for, you know, um, them to ship me free hair or ship me the correct thing. I didn't ask for any of that. Because even though my email confirmation said wig unit, they're telling me I order weft hair. So, one side of me wants to go off the email that they sent me. The other side is like, who knows who the fuck made the error. All I know is I ordered it under their protective styling units. And my email said, unit. I asked them, I said, hey, if I send this back tomorrow morning, how fast will I be able to get a refund? Do you all offer credits? Can I exchange it for something else? They responded by saying, as long as it's in the condition it came in, I could, um, as a courtesy, they would either give me a credit or refund me because all of their hair is non-refundable. So that's not an option that they usually do. So I'm like, how are you selling shit? And you have no refund or exchange options. That was very strange to me. Um, I didn't ask her, okay, thank you for that offer. But if I order, reorder tomorrow, I'm going to send the hair back and I'm going to order at the same time. How, will I have it at the same pace that I got this hair? Because I ordered this hair last Monday. I got it last Wednesday. You know, <laughs> Thanksgiving is next week. I need some hair. And they basically said, um, once I send this hair back, they will wait seven days. And then after the seven days, they will either refund me or give me a credit as a courtesy that she made sure she kept reminding me. And then I can place another order. And then when I place another order, if I get a unit, it's going to take an additional 15 days. So ultimately, I wouldn't have my unit until close to Christmas, which is going to defeat the purpose. What am I going to do 
regarding my events before between them. So I just said, fuck it. Because we kept emailing back and forth. And with each email, the lady Lindsay got more and more and more and more agitated, which I find to be very unprofessional. So I just said, fuck it. I said, I'm going to make a better business bureau <laughs> complaint on your customer service. And we're going to call it a day. So I end up doing a quick weave. I had to part my TWA and glue the hair to my scalp. One bundle. This is one bundle. It was not enough to do a whole wig. I tried. I love making wigs. I tried to use it to do a wig, honey. That was the boniest wig I've ever seen. Um, this is the entire bundle in my hair. And I had to add some synthetic hair that I had left over from the wig that I made that I was wearing in the last video to the back. <laughs> so, ugh. As for the company themselves communicating, they do not have great customer service. So that makes me a little weary of ordering from them again. What I should have done is Google them. I just saw their amazing Instagram and ran with it. If I would have Googled them first, I would have seen that there were several other people who was displeased with the service that they received from this company. Although this is my experience. I don't want people to take what I'm saying and say, oh, I'm not going to order from them. Or they just say that. This, this is my experience. Who knows? You might order from them and it might be a completely different experience. For me, this is the shit that I got. I got bullshitted. Um, I really do want this unit from them. But after dealing with Lindsay, I wouldn't even, I value my money too much to waste it on such an unprofessional company and that's that's sad um as for the hair um i like it i like the way i styled it it took a lot of manipulation i had to put a lot of product in this hair um and i had to do a twist out overnight and it's okay but i think my experience with them as far as their customer service is overshadowing my actual feelings towards the hair i like the hair my wife is very honest and vocal if she thought it looked like shit she would tell me it looked like shit she actually likes it so um i would say out of 10 i would give the hair itself a six do I think it's 100% natural nope um <laughs> but the hair is good quality hair so um it's good quality hair for the price I will say that um that's about it I don't have anything else nice to say about this company because that lady Lindsay just irritated my soul like she made my left ass itch <laughs> So, um, I'll put their site down below just because that's where I ordered it from. <sighs> their customer service is some shit. And I think it's, I'm, you know, I think I'm so frustrated about this whole thing is because the way she act, the way she treated me in the emails, you would have thought I was like, y'all need to send me the right shit. Y'all need to send me a refund. Y'all need to give me a free product you know something i would the way she was acting you would have thought i was trying to use this company or something not at all i'm the one who had no issue with paying to send it back because the package did not come with a return label because all their sales are final i'm the one who was willing to pay a difference so i can get the unit i was the one who was willing to order before they even received the shipment i was going to send back so to get treated like that it was just like fuck that <laughs> at this time i think i will honestly stop being cheap and i will just order from big chop hair if you haven't heard from big chop hair i'll link them below the only reason i didn't order from them is because it's christmas time and i really didn't want to spend that much on hair but at least with them I've researched them and I know they have good quality 
hair and it's worth every penny. So will I recommend finger comber to somebody? Nope. <laughs> would I recommend other companies to people first? Yes. Um, go to finger comb, comb. If you are looking for a protective style, do not go to finger comb or go to big chop hair. Go to kinky street hair. Hell, spend your whole paycheck and go to heat free hair. But just stay away from finger comb. I was not pleased. Um, the hair is okay, but their customer service is some shit. Um, yeah. <laughs>